Hey Disney fans, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing one of my favorite limited edition dolls that I do own. As you can see by the box behind me, it is the Snow White um, from Saks Fifth Avenue. And uh, we're just going to take a little bit closer look at this one, go over the details of it, and uh, that way you guys can get a better look in case you don't own this one. Um, she was limited to 1,000, available only through Saks Fifth Avenue, and only in the United States as far as I can tell. Um, I know this doll sold out rather quickly. Um, Saks Fifth Avenue did not even really announce it from what I can tell or what I've read and heard. Uh, someone bought one and posted it on Instagram and that was that. Um, so mine, I actually was unable to get through Saks Fifth Avenue, unfortunately, um, but I was able to get it through a very kind soul up in Michigan who sold it to me at retail. So I didn't have to pay any of the astronomical prices that you might find on eBay or some of the limited edition doll sites. Um, some of these go for, I think there's a couple for sale, like $1,299 on eBay, which it's a doll. Uh, so it's a nice one, don't get me wrong, but $1,299 is just a bit steep. Um, but I was able to get mine, like I said, I got it for 370 bucks, and then she put on the sales tax that she had to pay, and then I paid like 10 bucks shipping, I think. So um, that is how I got mine. And uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a closer look at her. All right, guys, so here is the box. Um, this is kind of similar to the um, Platinum Edition doll set boxes uh, that usually hold two dolls. Um, so it is bigger. Um, they do open differently. Uh, there's um, a little bit more moving parts to these than the normal platinum or the normal limited edition boxes. Um, this was, as you can see here, designed exclusively for Saks Fifth Avenue. And it says there's Snow White Collector Doll Limited Edition, one of a thousand. And um, the box itself just has some water, uh, like a watermark almost behind on it. Uh, just some floral and um, like scroll type designs there. And then the uh, parts like this, the silver and the red, kind of have like a, a shine or a shimmer to them. This does not have the Disney Store logo on it as this was not made for Disney Store. Um, it was made set for Saks Fifth Avenue, so the only thing that you're used to that is on this box is the 6 Plus. Um, these are collector's dolls, um, so they are not really meant to be played with. And after taking a look at her, I don't know why I'm going to let their little kid play with this anyhow. But uh, let me turn this around here. We can take a look at the back of the box. Okay, so on the back it does say, Once Upon a Holiday, Saks Fifth Avenue, Snow White Collector's Doll. If you guys want to pause it here, I will hold this so you can. Um, and you can see at the bottom there it does say, Certificate of Authenticity and dis Display is Included. My favorite part though is right here where it says, Snow White is truly the fairest of them all, making this doll a treasured addition to any collection. Okay, so that is the back of the box. And then I did want to point out here, you can see the retail sticker, uh, $370. So that was how much she was in stores. Okay, so there you can see I did get the top portion off. It is, uh, it does have a window in the top. It's just, just like the other ones where it's uh, uh, just a, a slight cover that, but like I said, a little bit different obviously because it's like a wardrobe, but yeah. And then here she is in her, this, uh, in her box. She still does have her plastic um, display cover on her. But um, I'm going to go ahead and take that off now so that we can get a closer look. But one thing I did want to show you before I did that is um, you can see here on the plastic cover there is artwork. Um, so the little birds and there's an apple um, right there. Which, you know, wouldn't be complete. But you can see it up there on the top too. And then uh, again on this side as well that they do have that artwork on the plastic cover. So I thought that was just kind of a neat touch that they did add. Um, just makes these dolls, these uh, collection ones, um, a little more, I don't know, a little more desirable. They just a little more detail to me. Just makes them worth every penny that they charge for them. So let's go ahead and get this plastic uh, protector off. All right. So now I have her out of her box. So we'll do just a quick review on her, and uh, so you guys can get a real good look at the details. If you don't have her already, um, hopefully this will kind of help give you an idea and maybe prompt you to want to buy one. I know there are quite a few on eBay. They're a range in price from 400 up to 1799, which I think is crazy. Uh, <laughs> yes, there were only a thousand of her made, but 400 is probably the better price on that one. Um, but yeah, so first things first, let's start with my certificate. They were limited to a thousand and I got number 901. So 901 out of a thousand. So near the end of the run, but that's okay. Our numbers really don't bother me when it comes to my dolls. Um, I'm just grateful that I was able to get in on them. Um, 
And like I said, if I get one, if I get 500, if I get number 1000, it doesn't matter. I was still able to get one. So I'm really happy uh, that I was able to do that with this one. So we'll go ahead and put the card back down here and we'll start in on Snow White. So first up, let's take a look at her face. Uh, the detail on her face is amazing. They've gone as far as to put little lines in the irises there and the highlights on her pupil. She does have rooted eyelashes, just like all of the Disney princesses, limited edition dolls, and rooted hair as well. Her hair is styled, so there's quite a bit of gel and product in it to make it stay the way that it is. You can see there, she does have her red satin bow. And it's like, it's like almost like a Christmas red. It's real pretty. You can see there the collar does go all the way around. It looks like it is parted right there though, uh, around to the back of her neck. And the collar itself is actually two portions. There's this like uh, pleated crinoline. And then there's also this cream colored uh, collar portion that has some gold embroidery on it. And that does go all the way around. That same gold embroidery is followed through into her poofy sleeves. So you can see there in between the um, panels, there's that same gold embroidery. She then has these drop sleeves and then another sleeve portion there that has gold stitching and kind of a crisscross pattern there on her arms. And then also you can see here, she's got a little bit of gold embroidery trim. Uh, she is holding a bird. So I don't know if this is supposed to be representative of the dove or if that's just another bird, but it does have a gold beak and gold feet and it's got some painted feathers and such on him. And uh, that same sleeve is going on over here. So it's, it's the exact same on both sides, nothing different. You can kind of see there the back, or the, I guess the inside of the cape. Um, it does have that same printed pattern that is prevalent throughout this entire doll in her box. And then she has a very, 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 very full skirt. So I'll kind of turn that here so you can see. Um, it does have like tissue paper and um, netting and stuff inside of it to make it real poofy, but uh, you can see there's these satin pat, uh, panels and that have these little plastic jewels that are fastened just right so that when you turn it, you can kind of see there, they do catch the light pretty well, but they are on every single panel. And at the bottom of every panel is this really very detailed gold embroidery. So again, there's our bird, there's our apple, a couple more birds. Um, and this is on every single panel. So they really went to the nth degree on this one in order to make it as detailed as they possibly could. Um, this beautiful red satin fabric in between each of these cream panels. The uh, previous owner did undo the little pins right here. I don't know if you can kind of see the two holes. So I think she's probably trying to look at the shoes. So I'll take a quick peek. And there you can see she's just got some opalescent, pearlescent uh, white heels with little bows and put that back down. And then over here, we'll give you kind of a better look at the cape. Um, it's that same uh, whitish cream color. It's really soft, almost like velvet. Has that gold trim going down it and then gold stitching and little tiny gold beads. So again, just a really overall very detailed doll. Um, the back of her box is just as detailed. It is absolutely gorgeous. I just, I cannot get over with all the detail, all the, just the minute little things that Disney chose to put in this. Um, it just is really, 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 really something. So I am so very happy I was able to get this. Um, this doll has a double meaning for me. Uh, not only do I love Disney because, you know, Disney is life. Um, she represents Disney in the sense that she was the very first Disney movie uh, to be, I guess, a full, full length feature. First Disney princess. And uh, Snow White was my grandma's favorite movie. So, um, sorry, <laughs> my grandma was a very, very, very special lady. Her and I had a really, um, just a real special bond. And her favorite, favorite movie was Snow White. And she just kind of passed that on to me. So um, anytime I see something that's Snow White related and I like it, I usually pick it up and that did not change with this. So um, just keeping her memory alive through little things such as this. Uh, they, um, my grandparents, my grandma, my grandpa were unfortunately tragically taken from us in 2005. So, um, just little things that I can help keep their memory alive and, and just kind of keep around to remind me of them and the fun things that we shared and the things that they enjoyed, um, I tend to do. So yeah, like I said, double meaning on this one, but anyhow, 
Um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, reviewed video of the Snow White Saks Fifth Avenue doll. If you did, uh, hit thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already, hit subscribe and that notification bell. We do try to uh, post a video every single Saturday. Every now and then we'll do a little bit of a special edition video. I guess not special edition, but just like a uh, extra video. Next week will be one of those. Hopefully cross your fingers for me. Tuesday is July 31st, and that is the day that the limited edition Mulan doll comes out in the Disney store. So I'm going to drive at six o'clock in the morning, two hours to get to um, the, <laughs> I call it my local because it's as local as it gets here, uh, Disney store to get in line and hopefully walk out with a Mulan doll. So I will take you guys along on that trip. Um, hopefully, like I said, we'll be able to be lucky enough to get one. And uh, yeah, so I will have that video coming up next Tuesday, regardless of whether or not I am able to get one. I'll still post the video of how it all went down. Um, but anyways, yeah, again, thanks guys. Um, love it when you guys comment. So if you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave them below. I do try to respond as quick as I can. I really do appreciate it when you guys take the time to do that and also to watch the video. So thanks again, guys. Uh, I hope you all have a great and magical day. See you on the next video.